Um, and we should also note to this judge, if uh, George, if passed this prologue, um, this judge will undoubtedly receive a number of really hateful and undoubtedly racist attacks from the former president uh, and his supporters. Uh, Ken mentioned Georgia, and that's actually where I was wanted to go with you. It's one of the states highlighted in here. We are expecting uh, news from the DA down there in Fulton County in the next couple of weeks at most of another charge. But talk to us about the interplay here that Georgia features so prominently in this federal case and then this state one. How is that going to work? Well, I, I'm, they bo both seem to be doing their own thing. I mean, uh, Bonnie Willis, the, the di district attorney in Fulton County, said the other day that he, she, doesn't, she couldn't pick out Jack Smith out of, out of a lineup or something like that. Um, it doesn't appear that they've been coordinating closely at all. But they're what they're trying to do what they're trying to do and what they're trying to prove is is parallel i think i think that the strategic choice that um mr smith has made to just focus on donald trump is a very very smart one and i think that's good that his his case will go to trial i think before hers because um by all accounts she's going to bring a much more organized crime kind of case involving you know, the georgia rico statute that's going to involve a lot of defendants and that's that's going to be a you know as as chuck points out that that makes that makes life more difficult for a trial judge um but i i think at the end of the day what matters is you you get two bites at the apple in this instance the, the, it, 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 there's, I, I just don't see how he survives all of these cases, Donald Trump, because it's just each one is he's, he's playing he's played Russian roulette with the law. And uh, I, I just don't think he's I don't think he's going to make it through the next year.